So let's talk a little bit, James, about um, the future of where we're all going. Now, this is one aspect of things. And I know, you know, I've had other people come on the show and talk about what they see for humanity, where we're all going, that we are going through this big shift, human shift. The first question I want to ask you is what part do you believe the work of mediums, of channels, of this spiritual ideas that we're talking about in this episode, what effect is that going to have? And what is the future of those things? Are channels going to be the next and mediums going to be the next kind of like people will be respected and feel like doctors and lawyers are now? Where do you see all of this going? I, I would hope so. The quality is always a question, right? <laughs> that, that's also with doctors that's and lawyers. Part, that's quality. also with doctors and lawyers too, my friend. <laughs> yes, it's not true of every single organism. That's exactly right. Um, you know, I, I, from my point of view, it, to me, the, the, the world, most of the world are asleep. Most people are asleep. They're sleepwalking. Mm-hmm. And like mm-hmm. only 3% are conscious. Only 3% of the world is awake. 3%, that's a very small amount, 3% of the entire world. I mean, 97% are sleeping, they're sleepwalkers. So we have to wake them up. And shows like yours and, and shows like mine and schools like mine uh, do that. They, they touch on a certain nerve, a certain sense, a certain soul part of that soul. They'll open them up. And I, I think that's going to happen. I think more and more when there are shows like yours and, and more spiritual work out there, um, that's not threatening to people. That's really assuring people. And and if mediumship is done the right way, you know, in, in a quality and a responsible way, I, I think people tend to see a, a connection, a connection that, wow, this is real. And that th- there's more to life than just this physical world. I think that's the number one thing. The first thing is to realize there is no, there's no death. And that's been my, my work from day one is to teach people the two greatest illusions we have in this physical world. Number one, mm-hmm. separativeness. No one's separate. We're together. But we want to be, it's the world teaches the separative, the solution. Second thing is death. There is no such thing as death. You can't die for the best thing. You just can't die. We're energy. You don't die. You just slough off the physical, which is painless in many respects. Mm-hmm. Leading up to it might be hard with the disease, of, but there are medications for that to get you out. And I totally, you know, the spirit people have inspired those scientists to come up to invent that those medications they have been first in the spirit world and they have slowly brought down to the physical world so i i think it's a matter of um, number one educating the public that there's more to this than just this physical world and and that people and i think mediumship is doing that i think shows like yours are doing that that help people to realize there's so much more number two i think that, that they become connected with their power with themselves learn who they yeah. are and go back in and not pay attention to what people say about them on the social media and not get so caught up in that what people are saying and doing you know Kim Kardashian, who I, I did read for many years ago before she was Kim Kardashian, you know, there's a big responsibility she has and she had. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna blame people, but you know, when you're out in the media that way, there's a responsibility. And you gotta be careful because it'll it'll back, it'll bite you. It'll bite you if you're not careful. And I, I just hope that people do things more of the conscious way, um, how they're affecting other people. I think it's a slow, slowly moving, but in some ways it isn't, because I started in the 80s and and listen, when I was doing, I was the only one out there doing this. And now, now it's very, very popular. And I always use a funny thing. It's like, well, remember when herb tea started? No, oh, the herb tea, you drink herb tea. That's so weird, herb tea. And now, <laughs> right. it's now, right? So that's, so, and that was relatively quickly. So that's only 30 years, the herb tea thing. That's pretty fast when you think about it. So I do have hope that things will be, be changing. And I think much quicker, Alex, I think once people mm-hmm. get it, oh, and they catch up, they catch up. My feeling is they catch up and they start moving. So I would think by the next like 2025, 20, hopefully there'll be another sense of that of self-awareness and self-knowledge. I think in some ways wars, negative things, that, and people have had enough of it, whether it's the COVID or the wars, or people are tired of that. They want something else, they want something new. So in a way it forces them to look within themselves and to question, see what's, what's with, what else is there? What else is there I can experience to make me feel better? So I think it's gonna force us to have a sense of who we are, get back to our soul self and go back inside, not outside out here to validate yourself, but inside ourselves. And I think that's going to happen. Now, do you, do you believe that we are heading in a direction that as, as, a, as a species, as a human consciousness, are we heading in a positive or what is this a better question? What does the spirit world have to say about where we're heading as 
it's it's funny because they don't judge it. It's, there's no judgment, so we can't say positive or negative. It just it is what right. it is. Because exactly. that's, that's, that's exactly soul, that's, right. So that's soul. It is. It's just an experience. It's really just experiences, and it's experiences of loving oneself and of loving another. And that's mm -hmm. really what it's about: loving oneself and loving another, and not judgment. Judgment again is fear based. Like I said earlier, it's very interesting because um, you know, we have the whole the trans thing now. And you have to, one thing I, I'm not so comfortable still with is the pronoun thing because I'm an author, mm -hmm. a best-selling author, and I had a lot of trouble with the grammar thing. So I mm -hmm. get that. So I don't want to judge that, but I want to say everybody is God, no matter who they are, and the diversification. Agreed is what makes God. God is all these different sparkles, all different lights in all different ways. So we can't judge another's experience. Agreed. I think if everybody just uh, got, didn't hurt anyone else, it'd be fine. They be who you are, do what you want to do as long as you don't hurt people. That's a, that's a key right there. And I think that more and more that's going to happen. I think more and more, um, I just think we're at a point now extremism with religion and politics and trying to control people's rights because this country is based on a, a freedom of, of rights. and that's that's waning and it's because but i don't think that's going to stay i think people are going to be fed up with that you know roe v wade the whole thing it, it, we, you know it's so amazing to me that the you know people are fighting abortion and abortion but yet it's okay to kill an eight-year-old with a semi-automatic gun what about that I mean, mm -hmm. it doesn't work it doesn't work you can't have it all i mean one or the other you know right. so i i think that's it's forcing people to change to look at things a different way i think it goes back to self uh on learning about self and and uh just really um loving appreciating self and each other that we're all connected we're not separate we're, we're one we are one i'm the present nurturing energy we're one to watch the full video click on the link below and don't forget to subscribe